the year of the rinseless 2024 it's absolutely wild in this video you're in for a fun packed review of coach Kemi rrw we're gonna have to do it a little different because they're getting so good right that you can't just go off a slickness cleaning power does it clean my men who gives a flying crap everything i tested in the last three months has we're gonna go over tds we're gonna go over pH levels. We're gonna test this inside and out. We're gonna let it sit on glass. Stay tuned for this episode. Can the rinseless compete? I don't know. I didn't wanna steal that from Ammo and get sued because his money's different. But stay tuned. We're about to get popping. Let's go. We're gonna change up in our rinseless test going forward. Going forward, because things are so good in 2024 in the year of rinseless that slickness is a given. If you're not slick, you suck. Okay? If you're not slick, if you're not slick and sliding, you suck. If you're not cleaning, you're even worse. And if you're spotting, we want a divorce. When I mean spotting, I mean if the directions say go panel by panel, homeboy, go panel by panel. Let's say go by panel by panel. And it spots, we're divorcing. We're it. That's where we're at. 2024, we cannot, we can't just give you a, a buy. You don't get a buy in 2024. Things are so good in 2024 for rinseless washers. That if you can't find one that fits your repertoire, that's between you, God, and Moses. Let's go over a couple things we're gonna do different. First of all, shout out to my technical chemist sponsor, Tim McLaughlin. He sent me two readers. I have my TDS. <laughs> I don't know. I have a pH reader, TDS reader. I wanna go over what my water is like. We're gonna see if it softens. We're gonna see the pH of this truly before I dilute it. We are gonna use my keg. We're gonna use the sponge. The best sponge on the market, Rinseless 10 gets you 10% off. The best sponge, and yes, I am testing against the Ultra Soft Sponge. Best of both worlds. Uh, we're gonna use my Amphibian uh, as a drying towel, and then let's get cracker lacking. A couple notable things about this Rinseless wash is the smell. The smell, Eddie, what's it smell like? Well, smell it. Hey, tell me what you think. Yeah, yeah, you're getting the same hits of mango, of tea, don't drink it, you'll get sick. I have three gallons of water in my bucket. We're gonna test the pH of this. And then, you know, it's one to 256. So we're gonna do one and a half ounces. I wanna do the pH test on this because it's claiming a pH of four. It would be a four is beyond me. I'm not sure what they're trying to get at. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe that's what they saw that would work better. It does leave slight protection. So we got that out the way. Um, let's turn this on. We're gonna go inside of the cup. And right now, this is reading. It's still dropping, it's still dropping. Look, look, look. It's still dropping, okay? While that's doing this thing, we're gonna test my TDS of my water. What is that? You see that? 372 parts per million. This will spot your wife. This will spot your relationships. This is spot your Christianity. This is spotting, okay? You're like, why don't you get a Cars with Keev type of situation? Because his money is different. Okay, so uh, 370 parts per million. This is what this is showing for a pH. Uh, 4.16. Measure the TDS of the water. We know it's 370 parts per million. We measured Coke Hemi's uh, acidic rinseless is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to test it right now, diluted. So I got a cup here that I took from the bucket. It is diluted, okay? I'm gonna take my pH scale, and what I wanna read is, did it really change the pH much when it hits water? Let's do that test together here. From a four to a pH of 7.3. So it neutralized. You see that? How that neutralized? Okay, so. 7.3 is what it would be in the bucket when it hits the minerals. Now let's test the TDS of it. We know that the TDS was three parts per million, 370 parts per million. Okay, let's test this part. That's super important to know. We know it went from acidic to neutral in the bucket, okay? Now let's test this. Look, it did not change one bit. Go in, I'm gonna pressurize the keg. We're gonna wash the car together. We'll give you first impression. Let's talk about a few things that have come to my attention that I really wanna hone down. 
keep getting asked Eddie what's the best friends list I'll tell you there's a video dropping in two weeks I really need to do my due diligence because at the end of the day this impacts people right but I'm gonna tell you right now fine lab ADS it's gonna be hydro save is gonna be hard to beat those um let's go over the testing so I have my double flip here okay we have my double flip right here in the bucket I want to show you this I have three gallons of water it does smell good I'm using the legacy sponge this is the dirt that was already on there was already on there. I have my keg that I'm using. It's already pressurized, okay? We can test that, okay? I'm gonna show you the car. So the car does have dirt there and some other places. Like you tell there's some dirt happening. You see that? You see that right here? Where I can see that there's dirt. So there's dirt on the car. We're gonna treat it like we did the fine lab rinseless test. What's the slickness? What's the cleaning power? Um, how does it look in the bucket? This is one thing that's impressive. Let me show you. Almost minimal to none. Okay. You see that? Even when I squeeze, minimal to no suds. The bucket was cleaned out. It does smell like tea. It does smell good. Okay. Let's get rolling. Let's test it with the double flip first. It is slick with the double flip. How do you compare it to? I'm thinking it compares to like Slickness, McKee's, Fine Lab. Um, yeah, it's, they, they, did, they did it justice, right? The slickness on this, awesome. Okay. There is dirt on here, but I want to come down and grab the dirt on here so we can check it out. So you see that dirty part? All right, we're going to do one dunk. Everyone knows the rules. Another dunk. And there is some, a little bit. Nope, it's clean. There you go. It cleans that. Let's look at the sponge. Okay. Let's go over slickness. And then I like how it has some wetting to it. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but you can see how it's wetting there. How it looks like there's like a wetting agent on it. It's pretty lit. It's real slick with the sponge. Okay. I'm getting good feedback on the sponge. I still have some dirt. We're going to dunk it. See if it cleaned everything. You can see a corner there. So yeah, this, the cleaning power is good. You're just in the bucket. You're going to have to just, don't know what that is. There you go. My hands don't feel weird. Okay. I'm digging so far. Digging it. Okay. Let's go to drying. And then when we're drying, the goal of drying is how does it interact with my drying towel? Look at the glass. On glass, it does, the humidity is a little high in here, but look at the glass. We'll see if that streak off. The drying process is great. Sprinceless on a non-coated car is still good, but it's not as it would be with a coated car. We all understand that. We all understand why that is. Okay, because you have slickness from the coating, you have non-slickness from non-coated car, contamination, things of that nature, but it is good. My hands don't feel dry. I did get some drying with Gion Eco, but it has a lot of protection in it. I have never received drying from HydroSafe, Fine Lab, um, or ADS, the next test of ADS of their final batch. So let me show you the glass here to show you that the streaking did leave show you the panel super glossy there was no dirt left on it yeah let's keep cleaning the car to get, get the dirt off but so far it's a absolute banger um and everything that people want from a polymer looking rinseless right it is surfactant it is a polymer it's a hybrid they just put some agents in it to stop the foaming like hydra how does this compare to Hydra? I, this Sphinx Hydra. How does it compare to Absolute? This Sphinx Absolute. How does this compare um, to the other rinseless washes like uh, American Detail Garage, Wipeout, Sphinx it, Wolf Game, Sphinx it. How does it care against DIY? How does it compare against ADS? How does it compare to Fine Labs and Hydro Save? You're gonna have to wait for that video. But the, no, the, the ones I named this easily Sphinx, Sphinx it. Just the cleaning power alone, from what I've seen from just in general, has been phenomenal, okay? Just, I'm just gonna throw it out there. This glass here, I'm actually gonna let all that sit. I'm not gonna touch it for three hours, okay? That's our starting point for three hours. I gotta wait three hours, here's the time, okay? That's me and my wife. 
Three hours. I'm gonna wait three hours. I'm gonna let it dry on the car. We're gonna see if it reactivates. Cause that's what he said. He said it will reactivate. You just spray it on. So I waited longer than three hours. Got caught up in meetings. He's gonna work a real job. You know what I'm saying? It is 401. I'm gonna show you the polymer marks in the car. The goal is, does it leave water spotting if I let it dry? Is it easy to come off? Let's take a look. This is all Coach Kemi. I left it on here for a reason, right? I wanted to show you the polymer marks. They call it polymer marks. I actually left it all over the hood. I mean, all over the glass here. I think some parts of the mirror here. So the goal we're gonna see if it could just come off. Um, we'll do a towel test first. We'll do this section. It has some rinses on it. Okay, you can see it there. Look at that. You see that? I left it over three hours. It was over three hours. Now I'm just gonna wipe it all off. There is some rinseless on the towel. I don't have uh, purified water. Like you see it, you can see it. Now I'm gonna grab my rinseless from my bucket. I'm gonna come on and I'm just gonna react. I'm just gonna reactivate it. Man, this is slick, dude. It's <laughs> It smells good in the bucket. It's slick. There we go. Go here, grab it there, grab it there, and then we'll dry it off. The humidity is high in here, but you can see how it flashes off, just like Fine Labs did. So it's not streaking glass, just so everyone's aware. It's just very high humidity in the garage. So the question is, does it work in the sun? Let's find out. So this is outside. It's about uh, 70 degrees, a little warmish uh, midday. And I'm gonna show you outside how it interacts. Just air in the hose. We'll do the cold section. I am gonna test spraying off how much of the car I can spray off without having to worry about it. I'm running out of rinses here. So, so far I did the whole front, okay? The side here and the glass. Direct sunlight, it is warm. It's not freezing in Pocatello. I am washing it. I'm gonna go uh, work my normal pace. That tea smell grows on you, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That tea smell grows on you. All right, you saw that, it works in the sun. I did more than one panel. I even let it sit on the side panels for a while. It was 70 degrees outside. Uh, it's pretty hot too, you know, it's the heat of the day moment. The sun's right on it. I let the truck sit outside the whole morning so we get the vibe of it being toasty. Do you know what I'm saying? So the panels were hot. Uh, so it does work in direct sun. All right, we made it to the end. You saw that. The question I'm gonna get asked, Eddie Cologne, does it compete with everything you've tested so far? Let's talk about it. Cause we have this, which is absolutely banger. Hey, Fine Lab, freaking amazing. I've done five cars with it. I've done it in the sun, done it inside, let it sit, comes off. I have Hero review coming up. Stuff is amazing. Fire, okay, fire. We have Eco Wash, which, you know, I thought it was gonna be a banger. It's okay, it's not the great. All right, review coming. It's comparing it to the three that I just named. This is not a top spot. We have Hydro Save, bro, we have Hydro Save. We have Eco Wash from Science Supply. We have DIY. We have so many rinse slits that came out. And I'm telling you right now, RRW top five. Top five for RRW, the one con that I have for RRW is you can't buy gallons. That's on them for sucking. Um, the con two is for RRW, you can't buy gallons. Again, that's on them for sucking. Con three is 
you don't buy it right now, I bet you 50 bucks, player. You ain't getting it for a while because it will sell out. This is real good. They did a great job. Review coming on my top five. You don't want to miss it. If you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe, hit the like. We're giving away a Krenzla. Shout out to Ethos, AKA Baby Hulk. He is sponsoring that for our channel. And we are giving away this whole line. We're about 1,100 subscribers away. I'm so excited. Next video, we're going to do hero review and then my top five. And then I'm done with versus Wash, bro. It's, it's exhausting. Filling up buckets, letting buckets sit overnight, smelling in the bucket after the night after. Does it wash my mitt? Does it clean my mitt? Can it work in sun? Now I have to, I have to add the sun now because you know some people be lying with their rinses wash. So now I gotta add the sun in it. And you know my neck pains. You know what I'm saying? But I'm stoked. I'm excited. Can't wait. I'm out.